Greetings again. This is uh, Brian Fields, uh, amateur radio call sign, W9CR. And uh, today, I have a uh, pretty cool little piece of kit that I got here. And this is a, uh, you can see a Kirby, uh, Kirk, Kirby, Kirkby microwave, uh, 50 ohm uh, N-type calibration kit. And uh, this one is good up to um, six gigahertz, limited only by the loads that are in here. Uh, so I, I do have some better loads that are rated up to 12 gigahertz, um, so I could use it up there. Uh, the, um, the problem is I don't have a VNA uh, that will go above 6 gigahertz, so it's kind of moot. Um, technically I didn't need to purchase the loads. Uh, the, uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Kirkby was, uh, actually said, hey, you don't need to buy these. We can just sell you these, uh, you know, without the loads. It'll save you some money, kind of a thing. Eh, you know what? Let me get everything with a, a calibrated kit. I know it's good, kind of a thing. So, it came in a little Pelican style case. Came with a little disc. Uh, the disc was a little tweaked there in uh, uh, transit. You can see the uh, slide doesn't go back, but I'll probably copy it onto another one. Anyways, so here's what's in here. It's actually pretty attractive. Um, we have a, a USB stick that uh, has a lot of information, basically a lot of cool stuff that he puts on here. And uh, the important thing is he has the data uh, traceable uh, on this particular attenuator right here. And this is a uh, verification attenuator so that you can tell uh, if your calibration is true and correct. Um, you can compare it to this and, and go through that. But uh, the other things he's got here, um, these are the shorts. You see it's pretty basic, really nicely machined and short for the male. Here's a uh, and short female. And uh, I get in there a little bit. You can see it is uh, one of the eight conductor uh, or fingered uh, N adapters uh, rather than a 4-1, which is really nice. Um, you know, I did notice some of the machining here on the the N um, around the threading was not as clean as I would think it would be, uh, but that really doesn't matter. It's not the critical part for verification. I just noticed some little bit of hashing in it. I don't know if it's possible to see here. Um, yeah, I thought that was a little strange. Um, and then on the opens, and uh, I'm trying not to, t you don't want to touch this with your hands, just the outer parts here. And you can see there's your uh, through part there. This is your uh, female open. And uh, what you do is when you're using this, uh, he does include uh, this part right here, which is for correcting. You don't want to touch that. Um, you basically put this through there like this and it corrects the um, N, uh, the male part of it, uh, so that it is uh, uh, true and correct. Um, because the, the N male is uh, pointed, it's not a fixed impedance at the, uh, the end of it. And uh, here's a uh, open for the N, male. See, similar arrangement, and it's just a open precision connector. Uh, really nicely made. Can't see anything really uh, amiss with it. It's all gold plated, which is probably not necessary, but I'm very happy with it. And then there's a couple throughs that are provided. Um, and these are uh, really nice throughs. Uh, here's the end mail to end mail one. Uh, there's a um, female one here that's provided as well. And this is, let me see if I can zoom in here on it. There we go. Um, These are four pin um, female conductors instead of the eight. Uh, but again, six gigahertz, it really doesn't matter. 
that's where you start getting into, hey, I can't go up to 18 gigahertz with this. Um, and then, uh, and e even then, it's not that big of a deal. And these are the uh, loads, the six gig loads. Um, pretty standard load. Looks pretty decent. And then for the, I guess he only has the mail loads uh, that he has manufactured. And uh, he just uses a uh, adapter on the a male load to get you a female load, but it's you know it's calibrated, so uh, you have the data on it, and that's really the important thing about a calibration kit. Um, so, anyways, that's the uh, Kirkby microwave kit. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to try calibrating here a little bit later, but unfortunately, um, I was uh, taken ill after uh, some travel rate recently, so I'm just starting to feel better here. Uh, so I figured I'd make this video, but. Uh, Anyways, uh, that's it, and you know, if you see I'm describing anything wrong here or doing anything wrong, please let me know. I'm as much of a learner as uh, everyone else is. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, see you on uh, a little bit later once I uh, do my formal calibration here.